What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a circuit fuse here, okay? This is like 10 fuses in one. You could call it a chip. They call it a chip fuse, circuit fuse. It's like 10 fuses in one. I'm gonna show you uh, how to check these. And um, what's the difference between the other fuses and this fuse? So pretty much there's no difference here, okay? You see this lead over here? This is where you're gonna have that eight millimeter bolt. Once you remove that eight millimeter bolt, you should be able to wiggle this. It's like, it's like pulling 10 fuses out of slot. So you're gonna have to kind of like wiggle it out of there, go slowly, easily. And to check these is the same thing. Only thing is you, you can't, if you can see it, let me take, turn this around to the light. If you can see right through it, you will see the contacts, okay? If you can see the contacts are completed, that means you can see the contact in each fuse. Let me just go back. It's, you can even hold it against the light. So if the contacts are complete inside, uh, the fuses are good, okay? You will, you will have a code for the system that is controlling. But anyways, let's bench test it with a test light. So all you're going to need here is a test light. Let me set this up. So here it is. I have this circuit set up. So pretty much it goes from, uh, let me move this out of the way. So this positive goes just like it would connect the bolt here. Um, it would give this circuit the whole top half of it uh, a pop 12 volts, okay? Whatever is coming in. And then it would travel through each fuse. Each fuse has a label on the top, how many amper it is, 30 amp, 20 amp, or 40 amp. Um, so pretty much what we did here is we got a test light. So we're gonna use the test light. We're gonna put the test light there. You take this test light to check this fuse. So pretty much how we check the regular fuses is, uh, let me go get one of the fuses. So here's a regular fuse. It has a contact right there in there, just like I was showing you guys. Just check for the completed contacts inside. Um, so pretty much on these fuses, what we do is we are able to check if there's power here and it's going cross. In this case, we can't do that because this whole thing is hidden unless they had left a small little slot here for us to pretty much make a contact with this, okay? Which is kind of not the option they gave us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. It's the same thing, okay? So this is a 12 volt coming in to this little guy right here. So we have power. We should have power over here unless my test light came off over here. Um, okay, there you go. So I'm not sure if I have a good contact here. Okay, we got a good contact. There you go, our test light illuminates. So pretty much this fuse will travel power through it. You can also check, I'm not, it's gonna be hard for me to hold from the top here. Let me just attach this here in that manner. Okay, so you can check here. The test light should light up. I don't know how I'm gonna do this for you guys. And, but, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch here. We should have power here. Our test light should light up here. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, so pretty much we are able to check long as this lights up and the opposite leg lights up. That means the contact is good. We're able to check this fuse. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it right here. So we should be able to kind of do it right here. Cause over there I cannot stick it. Okay, so pretty much we got power coming here. So we are able to check this fuse from the top just like that. See, there's power here. It travels through the fuse. If the fuse is blown, you will not have power on the opposite side. Okay, that's how you check those. So same thing here. We got 12 volt here. Our power should travel through the circuit here. And we should have power here. Power to each fuse, okay? If it doesn't, the fuse is blown. That's how you're gonna check, okay? So the circuit on all the fuses here is good. If let's say by chance this is broken, this will not light up. If this is burnt, this will not light up, okay? That's how, that's, it's very simple. Same, same theory here, just different setup. So this thing is almost like $70, $80 from the dealer. That's the difference. Three dollar fuse, eighty dollars. So if one blows, you gotta buy the whole thing, okay? So, anyways, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message.